boys and girls, it is so good to be with you today. And you might be watching this on October 4th. That's what we had planned. But guess what? We did not record it on October 4th. We did it right after that big hurricane. And that's why Miss Debbie's not here today. You just have Miss Darlene today. Miss Debbie didn't get to be here because she had some problems at her house she needed to get taken care of. But I know she misses you and I miss you too. And I hope I can see you soon. But today, we are going to talk about God and Jesus, of course. We're going to sing some songs, and Theo's going to come and visit us, and I don't know what he's going to bring, so we'll have to see that. We're going to talk about our new memory verse, and we're going to have our Bible story, and we're going to do a lesson page. I think you got your lessons in the mail, so you'll be able to do that with Mommy and Daddy. And we're going to end with a prayer. But we're going to get started first, and we're going to sing Jesus Loves Me, like we usually do because Jesus does love us so much. God loves us and Jesus loves every one of us. So sing with me. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Great job. Miss Darlene almost forgot to do those hand motions. Hopefully you didn't forget. And guess it, what? Jesus loves the little children. Now I told you Jesus loves everyone, but in the Bible, Jesus tells us we need to be more like little children. He really does love you so much. So let's sing that song. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. All right, and we've been talking about Jesus. We know that God is so powerful and so smart and so everything we need because he is so big. So let's say, my God is so big. Are you ready? My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. The mountains are his, the valleys are his, the trees are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. All right, now we're going to get ready to sit quietly and listen. So if you're standing, maybe you want to sit down. And let's use a quiet inside voices and let's sing, God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He is so good to me. Great job. I like that quiet singing. We're going to open the Bible. And the Bible is God's special book where he tells us how much he loves us and his story and gives us some rules to live by. And today we're going to be reading from Deuteronomy 6, 5. And let me find that right here. This is our Bible words. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. But we have a little bit shorter verse for you. Love God with your whole heart. So love God with your whole heart, and that's Deuteronomy 6.5. And Deuteronomy is kind of a funny word, isn't it? That's a long word, Deuteronomy 6.5. So let's try it again. Love God with your whole heart, Deuteronomy 6.5. And I like to do the motions, it helps me remember. Love God with your whole heart, Deuteronomy 6.5. Good job, boys and girls. Today, we are going to hear about a man named Noah, and he loved God with his whole heart. But back when Noah was alive, not very many people loved God. They forgot about God, and they weren't obeying God. Because Noah was really the only one who loved God, Noah and his family, God told him to build an ark. And an ark is a huge, huge, huge boat. And Noah obeyed God because he loved God. And this is a picture of Noah and his sons building the ark. That's probably his sons because that's who built it with him. 
Maybe mommy and daddy can help you build an ark. Now you probably can't build an ark like this. Maybe you can make a tent in your house or outside. Or maybe you can take a table and put maybe a blanket over it and you can get inside underneath of it and pretend that's the ark. Um, you decide what you're going to do and mommy and daddy can help you do that. That would be a fun thing to do. And it will help you remember to love God with your whole heart. And I don't know if you're going to build an ark or not. I think that will be a fun thing. And if you want to stop the video and build it and sit in the ark and watch the rest, maybe you can. Or maybe you're going to build it outside if you do it and you wouldn't be able to see me from there. So maybe you'll do it later. But I want you to think about, hmm, sometimes do you have hard jobs to do at your house? You do? Yeah, sometimes it could be hard to maybe be kind to someone when you're angry or maybe it's hard for you to make your bed or pick up your toys. Let me ask you this. Even if it's hard to do, is it the right thing to do if we obey mommy and daddy? Yeah, you know it is. It is the right thing to do, even when it's hard. Noah loved God, so he did what God told him to do. It took him years and years to finish building the huge ark. But Noah didn't give up. Noah showed that he loved God with his whole heart by doing the job God asked him to do. Let's say our verse one more time. Love God with your whole heart. Deuteronomy 6.5. And I'm going to tell you our Bible point for today. God wants us to obey. And since God wants us to obey, let's obey so we can show him how much we love him. Did you hear that, boys and girls? I think I hear Theo coming. Oh, there's Theo. Let's find out what Theo has to say and, and what he has there. Hi, everybody. Well, hello there, Theo. It's good to see you at church with us today. But what do you have right there? This is our duster. Oh, well, why, why do you have your duster, Theo? My dad wants me to dust all the furniture, but I don't want to. Oh, I see, Theo. Well, it's best to do what our moms and dads want us to do. Friends, what do you think Theo should do? Oh, did you hear that, Theo? They think you should use the duster. Those are all great ideas. They are. These kids are so smart. Well, um, friends, let's say our Bible point for Theo. God wants us to obey. Even my parents? God wants us to obey Him, but one way we can obey God is by obeying our parents. I'm going home right now and dust the furniture. And I'm going to tell my dad that I'm sorry for not obeying him. That sounds like a really great idea, Theo. Friends, let's say goodbye to Theo. Bye, Theo. You wave it. Bye, Theo. See ya. So I want to ask you, was there a time that you did what Mommy and Daddy told you to, even if you didn't want to? Oh, good idea. I am so proud of you for saying that. And is it a good idea for us to do what Mom and Dad said? It is a great idea. It's a great idea to do what teachers say, too. In the Bible today, we're going to learn God wants us to obey. He wants us to obey parents and to obey him, just like Noah did. And all the animals got and obeyed and got into a big boat with Noah. So let's find out what happened. And I am going to turn my Bible to Genesis 6. We've been doing lots of stories in Genesis and that's at the very beginning of the Bible. Today, we're going to hear about a man who obeyed God. His name was Noah. God wants us to obey just like Noah did, with a willing, happy heart. He doesn't want us to be mad when we obey. Okay, I'll do it. He wants us to say, okay, God, I'll do it because you want me to. Let's practice obeying. When, we, when I tell you the story, if someone is sad, we're going to cry, boo-hoo-hoo. And if someone is happy, we're going to go, yay! And when God gives somebody directions and tells them to do something, we're going to say, yes, God, and we'll be smiling. So let's try that again. If God is sad, what are we going to say? Boo-hoo-hoo! -hoo, that's right. And if God is happy, what are we going to shout? Yay! Yes, you got it right. And if God tells us to do something, what are we going to say? Yes, God. That's right. Great job. 
All right, so I'm going to start our story. God was very happy with Noah. Yay! I didn't trick you. But other people who lived during Noah's time didn't obey God, and that made God very sad. God looked around for someone who loved him and wanted to obey. Oh, God found Noah. God told Noah, Noah, I want you to build an ark, and it's a huge, huge boat. And God told Noah what kind of wood to use and what shape the ark would be in and how big all the rooms should be. And Noah always said, yes, God. Noah worked very, very hard to build that ark. And God told Noah to put his whole family on the ark. So it was Noah and his wife, and they had one, two, three boys, and each boy had a wife, so that's three more wives. So eight people were on the ark. And, yes, God. God told him to put the animals safely on the ark. He wanted him to put two of every animal, two zebras, two lions, two monkeys, two kitty cats, two doggies, two of all the animals. And then God closed the big door. And the rain began to pour, a little bit like our hurricane. But everyone was safe and snug inside the ark with all the animals. Now, the ark on this poster isn't finished yet, but Noah was obedient to God. He obeyed God, and he finished the ark. And when he did, he and the animals went inside and closed the door. Is it sometimes hard for you to obey God? Yeah, sometimes it's hard. We talked about that earlier. I think it might have been hard for Noah. And do you know what? We didn't say it in our story, but Noah's neighbors teased him. What are you doing? That's just crazy. You don't need to build that. You're just wasting your time. And so he might have been a little sad, but he knew that when God tells us to do something, it's the right thing to do. So he did do that. Next, time, next week, we're going to find out a little bit more about that. Even when we don't want to obey, we do it because our parents and teachers know what's best for us, but God really knows what's best for us too. And it makes our parents smile, and it makes God smile when we obey them because God wants us to obey. Yay! Very good. Today, the picture we're going to do, and it's in your book, your Bible Hugs page, and it looks like an ark. But the ark is empty. There's nothing in there. So what I did is I found some pictures of some animals. And I cut them out. And I used a glue stick. And I put them on the ark. You may be able to find some pictures in magazines. Ask Mommy and Daddy before you cut them out. Or maybe uh, Mommy and Daddy will help you find some pictures on the computer and print them out for you. Now when you glue them on, maybe you can glue them wherever you want. Or maybe a mommy and daddy will play a game with you and they will say, I want the bear at the bottom. Or I want the dog in the middle. And if they do, you can follow directions and you can show them that you can obey. Now parents, if you want, you can stop the video now and make this with your children. Or if you want to wait until it's over, you can do it later. I'll let you have that choice. All right, maybe you're still with me, or if not, welcome back. I have an assignment for everyone. We learned today that God wants us to obey, so I want you to choose a way that you can obey. And I'm going to give you three choices, like always. So, when Mommy and Daddy ask you to pick up your toys, you can do it right away. Don't wait, and don't say no. Do it right away, and that's number one choice. When it's time for you to go to bed, you can go to bed quietly. No whining or complaining or crying. That's choice number two. And choice number three, every morning, ask God, God, what do you want me to do today to obey you? Those are your three choices. Pick up your toys right away. Go to bed right away without complaining. And ask God every morning, what do you want me to do today, God? And that's the one I'm going to choose. I think I want to pick that one. And you can tell your mommy and daddy which one you want them to, or which one you want to choose. And so now it's time for us to have our closing prayer. And I want you to remember God wants us to obey him, and he wants us to obey our parents and our teachers. 
So when we pray today, I'm going to say some words, but you can say some words too about obeying. So bow with me. Dear Father, dear God, we love you so much. And help us to remember that you love us and you know what's best for us. Help us to obey you. Help us to remember to do what our mommies and daddies ask and what our teachers ask. And help us to be kind to each other. Listen to the prayers of the boys and girls, God. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for joining today. I can't wait until I can see you and give you hugs. Love you all. Have a great week. Bye-bye.